Hello class, welcome back. This lecture is on allergic reactions. So first we're going to just talk about our immune system. So what does that have to do with allergies? Really everything. So it's our immune system that fights against this every day. So there's allergens, also called antigens, that enter our body every day, such as dust mites or secondhand smoke or mold or pollen. And it's our immune system that fights against this. So when you're breathing in, you know, people are due to hay fever, you know, or uh, goldenrod, and you're breathing that in, you don't, nothing happens to you because it's your, your immune system that's fighting against it. But if your immune system is, you know, weak, then you might come out of that field with all the goldenrod wheezing and, and sneezing and coughing. And um, so how does this work? It, by antibodies. So antibodies, you probably have all heard when you're responding to a virus or a bacteria, or you're getting a cold, it's your antibodies with inside your body produced from your lymph node glands that help fight any of these bacteria or viruses or things. So it works the same exact way how they fight against allergens. So when allergic reaction occurs, it means that our body's immune system isn't protecting itself against these allergens. So um, allergic reaction, it can be immediate, it can show up right away, or it might take several days. It can be localized, which is in one area, or it can be generalized over the whole body. So here's a picture of poison ivy. So this is just in one area, but this could spread, as you, as you may or may not know people that have poison ivy. Unfortunately, it's kind of common. So you have this itchiness, this redness, this swelling, blisters. If it's taken correctly, that won't travel. Other contact dermatitis, dermatitis is latex um, allergies or polyester allergies. So you have this on your hands, or this is from like, they're showing you the upper part of a leg where they probably had polyester pants on, and now they have this allergic reaction. So what do they do for this? Well, it depends on the severity. You can use an ointment if it's just in one area, or you might have to take something about like Benadryl, which is an antihistamine. Sometimes it becomes hives. So this is, um, typically if you have a picture like this where you have edema and redness and swelling, this is for something that the person took, um, ingested or took as a pill or took food and as a, opposed to something that they contacted, they touched. Um, and so the treatment is going to remove that allergen and take an antihistamine. I'm going to tell you a story here. So years ago, I got a new puppy from a pound, you know. Um, and so from the pound, they, they gave me this certificate to go and get the dogs the shots and everything else that they needed. But it was at a vet that I no, don't normally go to. But the shots and everything were free and covered by because I purchased this dog from the pound. Um, I brought the dog in and it was it was the waiting room you could just smell dog and smell animals and smell you know and uh, I waited there for quite a while before we were seen. Um, then I left and everything else. The next day, so it took a whole day, my whole body broke out in hives like this picture. And my whole body, and so we took some antihistamine and I was fine, but we tur it came down to, it was from that doctor's office. So I didn't take a pill or I didn't take food, but I inhaled it because I was smelling it and it was all those allergens were going into my nose and going into my system and my system eventually just broke down, but it took that long. Sometimes hives, so this is a picture this person has obviously quite swelling and this is caused by drugs, food or environmental factors. So you can have a mild reaction. And so in, in an office, sometimes people, like I'm saying, they might be allergic to the gloves or something that they touched. But the team should keep an eye on this because it could become severe. You don't know. So it's typically, if it's mild, it's not, it's not really you know too much. So the doctor might um, choose to treat the patient, again, with an antihistamine or an ointment. Um, or they may refer them out to an allergen, allergist. Severe allergic reaction. So this is when the reaction happens within the first 30 minutes. 
So it's not like the whole day like I was talking about my story. This is a quick reaction. And if an antihistamine doesn't stop it, the patient needs to be given epinephrine. A lot of times, today's world, a lot of people are allergic to um, peanuts and children and, um, or bees. And so I know several people that carry EpiPens because they're allergic to bees or, or um, peanuts. Or sometimes it's just peanut dust. You can't have peanuts on an airplane because just the dust goes into that enclosed area. And somebody who's not even eating it can go into a severe anaphylactic shock from peanuts. So what is an anaphylactic shock? It's, it's life-threatening. It's very severe. What happens is the throat starts closing up. So all the tissue in our throat and our larynx starts swelling up and then you can't breathe. And the patient could die within minutes. Um, so treatment for this, 911. Place the patient in a supine position. Administer oxygen and administer EpiPen. Epinephrine, but or, ep, or most people carry an EpiPen. And then uh, have CPR if needed. So if their airway starts closing down and their heart starts closing down, you might have to go into CPR. But we're going to get 911. You got to get that uh, EpiPen shot, you know. So common dental uh, office allergies, again, allergic to latex gloves, antibiotics. So sometimes a patient might come in and the doctor wants to do a treatment, but they're swollen and everything else. And he so he'll say, here, take these two penicillins and I'll come back to you after a while so we can do the work, but I want to get some antibiotics in you. Um, and then boom, they could, they could go into a, a allergic reaction. Um, sometimes narcotics or impression material. Thank you very much.